guys good morning welcome back to another vlog it is currently i want to tell you guys the date because it has been a minute since i vlogged wednesday november oh what wednesday january 26th and i got back from chicago a week ago tomorrow so spent the weekend in boston i had like a ton of friends come to the city this weekend so i didn't vlog and then monday i got sick so i had been sick for two days monday and tuesday i went to the doctor and they told me that i did a strep test the only thing that was bothering me was my throat and i knew i had felt this way before like just like the super sore throat not being able to swallow stuff like that because i've had strep like growing up so i went to the doctor it's not covid i had i did test positive for strep so i'm on antibiotics and i've been on them for 24 hours now and I honestly feel so much better so thank god for that but anyway I just decided I wanted to vlog today because I went to bed last night at 8 o'clock and I got up this morning at like 7 45 I slept so long last night and it just felt so good my body needed it so bad and I woke up this morning and I was like I have so much I need to update you guys on I feel like so much has happened in my life and I am just yeah I need to give you guys like an update because I just feel like stuff has been crazy lately so we will get into that in a little bit um but i obviously just woke up i got these things i actually really want to show you guys about before i forget because i'm gonna go put them in my freezer i'm really excited about these they are called the freeze tools by georgia louise and <laughs> basically they are these stainless balls with these pink um, handles and you put them in your freezer and then you literally can just like roll out your face oh I'm so excited to use these and I was really excited to get them in the mail so I just got these and they've been in my bathroom I wanted to show you guys I've been like into facial tools as you guys know if you've been keeping up with my vlogs so my gua sha that I've been using my stainless one my absolute favorite I kind of got off of um like kind of fell off my routine when i was in chicago just because we were so busy that i was like washing my face every single day definitely when you keep up with it when you're consistent you see the best results because at the beginning like when i did it for like a week and a half straight i could feel it and see the difference and i'm getting back into it now but this is my absolute favorite and then also i have two more favorites i want to share with you guys just little things that, um, actually three things, just little skincare things because I am just like really excited about them or like beauty products. So the first one is my mask CBD face serum. This is their spotless serum. It's my favorite. I used this last night. I just did spotless serum and moisturizer and I woke up today and, my, and it just really is like so good at making my skin very calm because it has CBD in it and also I just feel like it takes away all of the hyperpigmentation like the marks that I have from if I have like acne or anything so I'm obsessed with this I use it every single day morning and night and also I just got this goop glow hair serum right here and I'm really obsessed with it it made my hair so soft I used it the day before I went to Chicago and I didn't even have to wash my hair for like three days and it was like perfectly shiny and had volume and stuff like that so i really like that and then this baby right here the new face is a facial massager it's kind of like the gua sha on steroids it's so powerful and i guess you have to use like a special um face serum with it for it to like activate it which i need to order but I have been watching so many videos on this because I learned that when you press the button, it's not supposed to vibrate or anything. I thought it was broken for the longest time and it's not broken. So I'm really excited to use this, but those are my skincare favorites at the moment. Just things that I've really been loving lately and I wanted to share them with you guys. I am going to make my morning matcha. I have been on like a matcha grind lately and i really love using this giant mason jar and i'll show you guys exactly how i make it and this is my favorite matcha it's the peak tea sun goddess matcha 
It's such good quality. I've been using this for years. It even says it right on the back. It's quadruple toxin screened for pesticides, heavy metals, toxic mold, and all this stuff. So it's very pure. I'm obsessed with it. It also comes in like little sticks so you can bring them with you on the go. I actually have only bought the sticks. I just bought this tin right here, which is just a lot better than using the individual packets each time. So I ordered this off of their website along with a bunch of other teas, which I will show you guys in a second. And I love the Sun Potion Lines Main, Sun Potion Pearl, and then also this Reishi right here. Rishi, Rishi, I don't know how to say it. But anyway, oh, also when I showed this last time, some people were commenting saying that it makes you like unmotivated. I have not experienced that before, so that's really interesting. But anyway, I'll give you guys a little tour of my wellness drawer because it is stocked up right now with a lot of my favorite things. Before we get started with the matcha, I'll show you guys what I have. So we have my tea container. This is just a bunch of different tea bags that I have at the moment, which I always read about how bad the tea bags are for you. So I got some of the peak tea sticks. You can do these iced or hot. This is the Hibiscus Beauty Elixir. I'm gonna make one of these actually this morning because it is so good for clearing your skin. It's just made my skin so glowy. Like everything I've been doing has been making my skin so glowy. And then we have the Mint Herbal. I had this last night when I took a bath so amazing and it was just so calming and it was so yummy and then I have the ginger digestion elixir and I have my athletic greens right here which I'm gonna take a pack a little pack out I have two boxes of the individual packets and I also have a tin right here but I don't know how to take off the lid like I screwed it on the wrong way so now I'm like stuck out of my athletic greens tin and there's so much powder in here so anyway obsessed with this stuff i love it i've tried other greens powders and they honestly taste so bad this one has like a citrusy taste it's really really good also i follow a few doctors online who i've heard on podcasts before like i listen to the skinny confidential a lot and they always have like these really amazing doctors and a few of them have actually posted about athletic greens and they use them themselves so that's just like how i found out about the brand and obviously i also trust what these doctors are saying and the other doctor he talks about peak tea as well and i've loved peak tea for a while so that made me really happy so i have those oh also these are my favorite electrolyte packs um the element this is the orange salt these also have really good ingredients we have my vitamins ritual vitamins and then I have a probiotic. And back here we just have like different supplements and herbs. More peak tea, some bulletproof coffee, best coffee hands down, it's my favorite. When I make coffee at home, this is also like a clean coffee. That is everything in like my wellness drawer. I feel like I've been in such a good routine with everything. I've just like found really amazing products that I like a lot. So I'm gonna make these after I make my matcha. Right, so this is what I do when I make my matcha. I add the matcha and my almond milk to a mason jar. And then I will add in all of the herbs. So I did the matcha first, as you guys saw. Did the almond milk, added the herbs in, and I used this handheld frother. And then I just mix together the matcha, the almond milk, the herbs, everything, and it makes it like super creamy. Okay, then once everything is mixed together, you guys can like see how creamy that looks i add ice so i will just oh my god there's literally like barely any ice left okay well i could only get a little bit of ice because we like barely had any left but this is how i make my matcha i add the ice in at the end because i don't want the matcha since it was hot when i mix it with the hot water it usually like if i pour it right over ice it'll melt the ice it'll make it all watery so i do matcha almond milk add the ice and then yeah, it's just so good. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today.
lazy. Finally making breakfast right now. Milo was chewing his bone on the couch and then I look over and there was blood <laughs> all over this cushion, all over this one right here. So I was on FaceTime with my mom and she told me to put hydrogen peroxide on it. I have the covers over there and I'm gonna wash them right now which is so helpful because having a white couch, I always get questions how I keep it clean and it's because they are slip covered. So I just took it off and I can treat the spots where he got blood on it. And then I'm just gonna end up washing the rest of the couch because it's been a little bit since I washed the whole thing. And it just gets dirty with like people sitting on it with their clothes from outside and then obviously Milo. So that's what we're up to, but I made some bacon and I am making a few eggs right now to go with it. Drinking a little tea. That's the peak tea hibiscus one that I showed you guys earlier. But we don't really have that much grocery, so I'm probably just gonna do eggs, bacon, and avocado. I need to get ready to leave the house, but I am gonna unbox these two big boxes before we go because I am so excited about these packages, what I ordered. I got some room decor from Jenny Kane. They have the cutest Instagram and website. You guys have to check it out. They have like home decor, um, clothing, literally everything. And their stuff is so amazing. It's so aesthetic. It's like so my vibe. I feel like I'm really into like a modern Mediterranean vibe and their stuff is so cute. I love how it's like neutral and there's different textures and really amazing fabrics. So you guys definitely have to check it out. I'll put their Instagram on the screen and then I'll have their website linked down below. But I want to show you guys what I got because I've been talking about my room for a while now in the vlogs and this apartment altogether just does not feel like my last one. I don't love this apartment. Also the walls in this room, you guys know, I really want them to be white but I just haven't gotten around to painting them because I'd have to hire somebody and it's just been like a lot plus I travel a lot and I feel like I'm really not here that often. So one of you guys actually commented on my video and said, that I should just redo my room instead of like painting the walls and like remodeling it. I am gonna give my room a little refresh and that's exactly what we're gonna do. I feel like adding some decor will help make me feel so much better because the old apartment I had different tables. I had like my dresser and mirror and just like different things in my room that added, that made it feel a lot homier but this apartment I don't know, we don't even have to get into it. But anyway, I'm doing a little room refresh. I will link all these products down below. And Jenny Kane, thank you guys so much for partnering with me on this video. I'm obsessed with your stuff. You guys can also use Maggie M15. They gave me a discount code for you guys to get 15% off of their site, which is incredible. So you definitely have to check that out. I'm wearing their slippers right now. I'm never taking these off. They are so soft and comfy and perfect for around the house, like in the morning when I'm making my matcha and just cooking breakfast and stuff. I love them. They are so fluffy and warm, and I'm going to be wearing them around the house a ton. So I'm going to unbox all this stuff, and I'll show you guys what I got. Guys, I'm so happy with the way that this turned out. I'm going to show you guys the living room and my bedroom because I did order some pillows for the couch in my living room just to add um, like a little dimension, but I'll show you guys in a second. So the four front pillows right here are from Jenny Kane. I have a set of big pillows right here behind those. They're like the linen pillows that came with my bed and my bed is the cloud bed from Restoration Hardware. I have a size, a king size bed. So these pillows came with my bed and then the front pillows right here, these are just another white linen pillow, which I wanted to add because I have like a lot of linen on my bed. So I thought those would look really good just to match. And then I did, the front pillows are more of like a burlap pillow. They add some nice texture. I love the neutral color. They match really nicely to the bedside tables, which are from Restoration Hardware Teen. This is what they look like close up. So these are textured as well. And they look really good with the pillows. And then this gorgeous throw blanket right here is like a cream color and it's woven. These are handmade in Peru. They are absolutely stunning. They are so soft, not itchy at all. I always get worried with 
stuff like this because I'm like, is it going to be itchy and I won't even be able to use it. But these are so soft, such good quality. So I am so, I feel so relaxed right now. And I also actually went and got one of my Jenny Kane candles. This is the Ash right here. I am burning this one right now. It smells so good. It's clove, birch wood, balsam, and cedar wood. And just smells, it smells the exact way that the room looks. Like it just is very like calming and also, I don't know, it smells very homey. So I'm obsessed with all of this. Milo! <laughs> Milo already likes the new throw blanket for the living room. You're so funny, Milo. I'm going to switch out the rug because I have this wool rug that I got when I moved into my last apartment and it's gray from Restoration Hardware. Milo like completely destroyed it. Just does not look the way that it did when I first got it and I got it cleaned before we moved into this apartment because I want to use it again and I just realized like with him chewing bones and stuff that I need to get rid of this rug because he like pulls it and stuff so I have a like jute rug um, well it's kind of like a seagrass rug the one that was in my old apartment and it's at my mom's right now so now that I got a new car I'm gonna put it in the back of my car bring it here and then it'll look really nice because it's almost like a darker brown which will go good with this throw blanket right here which I got so soft and cozy I think it looks so good on the couch and then I added in two different pillows also don't mind the couch i did take a few pieces off because as you guys know i'm in the process of cleaning it but i just think that these pillows add such a nice touch they look so cute on the couch and i'll show you a close-up they look like this they're like brown and striped and it just adds something to like such a plain white space I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> Every time I come in here, I literally just smile. Looks so good. So thank you, Jenny Kane, for partnering with me on this video. You have completely transformed my room, and I am just so happy and so excited. So thank you guys again, and also use code MAGGIEM15 for 15% off of your order, and I will have their website linked down below. To shower, I'm going to do my hair in a little bit of makeup. I just threw on something comfy right now while I get ready because I'm not leaving right away. I think Emma has to shower. She told me she's at laser right now, so she's going to get ready. And then I also have to film a few Instagram stories and just do some work before we leave. So I just wanted to be all comfy and not get like fully dressed. But also I was just reading my DMs because I posted my room sneak peek on my Instagram story. And I know sometimes when I talk about like this apartment, I get like comments and questions about like, I don't know, just people say stuff about it. And I don't mean to be like negative and complain, but there's just a lot of different things that bother me about this place. And it more so has to do with like my landlord. Also, like I was just putting laundry in, in the laundry room and his stuff is just like everywhere. Like he has stuff all in the closets. Like our coat closet is filled with a bunch of his stuff. Our laundry room is filled with a bunch of his stuff. And then also the storage unit has a bunch of his stuff in it. That brown leather sofa that's like sitting in our kitchen. Like so random. He has so much stuff everywhere that he just like left behind. And he hasn't been here in like six years. He doesn't even live in Massachusetts. I think he lives in like Seattle or something. So our landlord lives like super far away and his stuff is just like everywhere and I swear when you have other people's stuff in your space and it's just like cluttered, energy is attached to that. Like who knows what energy is in that but I swear it just like overwhelms me and I just want to move and I want to be somewhere that is just like clean and clutter free and obviously doesn't have purple and yellow walls. That's another thing that is just like bothers me. Like I just like when everything is like all white and stuff um, or like neutral and I'm too lazy to paint just because I feel like it's expensive to have someone come and do it. But then it's also like I have waited so long and I've been traveling in a way. So it's like I'm not even here and now I'm moving out in June. So that is that. I just wanted to explain because I know I always am complaining about this apartment and I don't want it to come off the wrong way because there's a lot of stuff that I that like goes on here that I don't even talk about on YouTube that I've just like kept to myself so I just wanted to 
tell you guys that right now. Just did a little bit of makeup and slicked my hair back. Um, I used concealer. I did a little bit of concealer. I blended it with my fingers because I just feel like when I use my fingers, it blends like so naturally into your skin. And then I did Charlotte Tilbury setting powder, Lila B bronzer. Um, why am I forgetting my products? Lila B bronzer, Lawless bronzer for cream blush. I did makeup by Mario. This has been my go-to in the shade soft coral. So I will do concealer and then I'll do cream blush, blend this out, set my face with Charlotte Tilbury, do my bronzer. I used two different bronzers and then I did benefit brow gel, same mascara. And then at the very, very end before I do anything on my lips, I always add extra cream blush. I'm obsessed with blush. I've been obsessed with blush forever. And this is like one of my new favorites. It's the shade Dreamy by Say. I really love it. So I do that and then I just do a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. And right now I didn't do any gloss because I am just chilling. I did a little bit of Laneige lip mask. So that is my makeup, super easy. It's just like very quick, effortless, glowy. It just like gives you a little bit of life to your face so that is what i did and i always get questions also about how i slick back my hair so i will try to set you guys up right here just so i can show you really quick i have two different brushes that i use i got these well this one i don't love i just only got this because they didn't have this one when i went to walgreens they're by conair i love this one right here the bristles just look like that it's like a flat brush used for like silk like smoothing your hair and i will take a hairspray this is the Se sebastian shaper plus hairspray i will spray it on the brush literally just brush back my hair put it up in a ponytail and then add another elastic when i do the bun i can do a full tutorial it's easier to show you guys when my hair is down and i'm doing it but it's key to have a brush like this and also some hairspray as well because the hairspray is going to help it hold and i find that that hairspray the sebastian one doesn't make my hair crunchy i also have the bedhead masterpiece one right here and this one i feel like makes my hair a little bit um like when i use too much it makes it a little bit crunchy so that is that but that is hair and makeup right now and i'm gonna film some instagram stories i have to do for a couple brand deals right now so i'm gonna go ahead and do that but i just wanted to give you guys a little update on my look <laughs> milo is following me around because i just made a little snack well i guess this is like a little lunch snack i'll show you guys what i made we don't really have anything in the house right now so i kind of like created something with what we have so i took smoked salmon and i put a dairy-free cream cheese. I used the Kite Hill and it's the chive one and I added everything about the bagel and rolled up the smoked salmon. So it's like a little smoked salmon cream cheese thing. <laughs> I have some crackers and I did some bell peppers. I'm finally leaving the house. I'm gonna go grab some groceries. Pick up some stuff from Whole Foods because Graydon's coming over and we're going to cook dinner tonight. But I'm wearing a puffer from North Face. Got it from Revolve. And then my pants are the Frankie's Bikinis Active. They're my favorite. And then shoes are New Balance. And I just have on like a little cute long sleeve turtleneck top underneath. It is so cold out right now. I'm waiting for Emma. We're going to go to Whole Foods together to get some stuff for dinner. Like I said, also I just opened up a package. All my love is the brand cute little set right here, which I'm obsessed with. That's what the top looks like. And it has a cute little mini skirt, little skirt and top set. I need to go somewhere warm. Well, actually I am. So that'll be good because I can wear my little set when I go away next month and I'm really excited honestly the month is almost over and it's crazy um, it's just crazy that 
January is almost over, like the first month of the year. And next month, I feel like I just have such a busy month. And it's Valentine's Day. There's just like a lot going on, I feel like. But it's good. I like being busy personally because I feel like when I'm not, I get in such a rut but like when i am busy and i always have stuff to do i feel like i'm just so much more motivated and i just have so much more momentum because i'm like okay do this 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 obviously with like giving yourself time to rest but yeah that's just <sighs> what's up right now i just feel like i've been going through so much this these past couple of weeks it's like crazy and I want to like tell you guys I want I feel like I need to do like an updated Q&A or something because if I don't have specific questions I feel like I forget and I just don't know like even know where to start or what to say or even how to process like my thoughts so I definitely want to do a little Q&A coming up so make sure you're following me on Instagram it's at Maggie McDonald. I always have my Instagram linked in the description because I will do a question box, like a Q&A box, so you can ask me questions. And yeah, so we'll do that. It is long overdue. A little Q&A. And is my car gonna warm up? It's so freezing. I also need to do a car tour for you guys. I feel like I never did one. I only showed the outside, not the inside. But I've been obsessed with my car. I still am loving it. Um, and that's pretty much it from me. We're doing the first Wednesday night dinner in like a while, honestly. I don't think we did one in a little bit. So I'm really excited to get together with Graydon and cook. I think we're going to make like salmon rice bowls. And Emma and I are going to go to Whole Foods right now and get everything we need for it. We're getting a sneak peek of Emma's music video that she's in. Music video. Well, Taylor's music video that Emma is starring in. Ready, you guys? Yeah. Well, we get yeah. I'm so nervous. Am I gonna get copyrighted? Yeah. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> Emma! We're back home from the store. Graydon has honestly been working so hard in the kitchen and I've been doing nothing. Um, this is our little sauce, edamame, cucumber salad. He grated by hand all of those carrots, green onion, cilantro, a stunning avocado, and he's making a sauce to go on top of the salmon. Those are like little salmon bites. He cut them up. Yep. Small for our little bowls. I'm so excited. 